County assistant football coach is stepping down, saying he fears for the safety of his players. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Jeff Goodwin says he has chosen to resign his position after just a few months. News Channel 9's Abby Kirk is live outside of Chilhowee Middle School after speaking with parents, the head coach, and the coach who resigned. Cabby. Yeah, Latricia Josh Goodman says that it, the head coach hasn't been following that safety protocol, putting not just one student, but several students in danger. My head had got pulled down like that. Teddy Elliott is an eighth grader at Chilhowee Middle School. He's a fullback lineman for the school's football team, the Bobcats. I told him that I didn't want to go back in the first time I got here, but he told me to just go ahead and get back. About two weeks ago, Teddy says he injured his neck during a home game. I was dizzy, yeah, couldn't see really straight. Deep. After taking a quick break on the sideline, he continued to play the second half. I got hit in the head and knocked out for like a second or two. Teddy's grandma, Jackie Elliott, says doctors later determined he suffered a concussion. I think something more needs to be done other than set him on sideline, give him a few minutes to catch their breath, and then put him back in. And the TSSAA agrees their policy says any player who exhibits signs, symptoms, or behaviors consistent with the concussion shall be removed from the game and shall not return to play until cleared by an appropriate health care professional. Assistant coach for the team, Jeff Goodman, says this isn't the first time a player was injured and kept playing. On Tuesday, he resigned saying, quote, he has witnessed multiple incidents that include bullying, verbal abuse, and safety issues for the players. I wouldn't put no player in danger. Rocky King is the head coach. I know the game of football. I know how to coach. Goodman says throughout the season, King hasn't followed safety protocol. They need to follow the rules. Elliot says it's not always about winning the game. They need to abide by the rules. If they're supposed to pull the boys out, they need to pull them out. I don't care how shorthanded they are. Goodman's resignation letter was taken to the principal yesterday. He says he tells me he hasn't heard back from the school just yet. I spoke to another parent whose son was also injured in a game recently. She tells me she's okay with how the head coach handled the situation. Live in Benton, Abby Kirk, News Channel 9. Thanks, Abby. The letter says Goodman's resignation takes effect at the end of the season. You can read the full letter on our website, newschannel9.com.